Hey, everybody. How you all doing? This is this session will be about how Buxby reframes or changes pricing and wealth and reframes wealth. So, okay, back to usury. We are the usury model means that even though there's a lot more money being created, it's distributed um, a lot less. That makes it scarce. That that means that pricing always rises to fit the amount of volume of currency available. It's very different to the volume of currency out there. So it's a problem because it's always a fight and that establishes that wealth comes from getting the most with your pricing, whatever that might be. So it turns us into commodities, pretty much. <gasps> right, so... <laughs> and, and that's where we're, our idea of wealth comes from. So even the people that, that are very wealthy may have access to lots of things, sure. Uh, but they don't use it. A lot they don't use. Uh, and a lot of them make that money with less than transparent means. Buxby reframes these things. So it's all about being sustainable. Not taking away from your life, but just establishing sustainable frameworks. So in Buxby, one thing about the usury is the the price mechanism means things of higher quality have higher prices or, high, or higher value have higher prices. Value and quality are not the same thing. So in Buxby, it changes the price mechanism. The natural way of of making things in the Buxby world is making things of higher quality and having them cost less. That's a natural consequence because your status is about making the thing that you that you are to become redundant. The people evolve so much that what you make is now no longer required. And you don't need to make that thing to live uh, because your, your focus is not on the money you get for what you make. It's that you make something that empowered so many people, if not everybody, and uh, you don't have to make that now. You can make something else. You now have the freedom to make something else. That, that's how the job, if you want to call it a job, goes. You, you are inspired or empowered to be creative in the work that you make for the benefit of other people and Earth, of course. So pricing inverts, even though I may have a mean rate of B60 an hour, that's only um, a baseline to work with. As more people enter the Buxby community, competition goes up, the quality goes up, pricing goes down. And even how business will make things will not be, I need to make this many items at, um, you know, in a certain amount of time. It is much more to do with, I'll make on demand. I'm, I don't, I'm not owned by what I make anymore. I do it out of love. That's how Buxby works. And so wealth doesn't become oh, I can have all these things and six jets and five yachts and whatever. It's access to those things as you need, as experience may want you to do. And the pricing of these items becomes a lot less too and far more accessible. If you're the type of person that thinks wealth is, oh, I have this but you don't, well, 
that's that's not a, that's not really an inner wealth of yourself, to be honest. It's I have access to to these things to experience my life, and people are helping me to do that. That's what wealth really is. People aren't your servants; they're your peers, and experiences will revolve around us serving if you want to call it that but sharing our creative capacity with each other it just takes change in the currency to make that possible okay take care